I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys a comparison between the oldest one we've ever gotten and the newest one we've ever gotten. So we're going all the way back to Kenner days and we're looking at the latest Mattel. So right here we have the good old Red Rex who is a recurring <laughs> figure on this channel. And we have the Mattel Hammond Collection. Both very similar in size. Both very good representations of the animal itself from the film. And they're both supposed to be the same same thing. So I figured, well, why not go ahead and show both of them? Honestly, these two are my favorite out of anything else, needless to say. I have to say they're both accurate. And I say that because, well, this one has reddish-brown skin with black spots. But there again, that is what it looked like in the book. Versus what we actually got to see in the film. So this is screen accurate. And this one is book accurate. So they're both accurate in their own way. And I think that that's what makes them both unique. That's why I appreciate both of them. Should they ever reboot the franchise? I think... Oh, sorry, guys. I think they should actually make it look the way it did in the book and actually bring this one to light. And we might actually get to see a new uh, Red Rex in the future. If that's the case, <laughs> I'm all in. In terms of articulation, the only articulation you see on the Red Rex is the arms. They kind of just go up and down. Very simple. See, they just swivel up and down, and that's about it. The legs don't do anything, tail doesn't do anything, but it does have a wire in it, so you can pretty much, you can go any way you want with it. You can see it was bent because it was too big to fit in the box when it first came out, so they had to bend the tail in order to fit it in. However, with the tail bent, uh, then you have something to prop it up with, and you can actually have it stand up pretty good and secure so you know it's a win-win there but when you try hard enough you can actually get it straight and you can also eventually get it in a good pose where it stands this one is another one for <laughs> having a problem standing upright unless you actually have it in this pose you can actually pose it in any way you want to However, in this pose in particular, it actually stands upright and stays where, where it is. So, I have to say, it's not much better with this one. But when it comes to screen accuracy, this one really takes the cake. This one just has the uh, features. Everything is perfectly represented. Uh, it's a brown color with black stripes. And like I said in my one video of this figure, the eyes actually follow you. Whereas these uh, these eyes are pretty nice, but they're, uh, they're just sculpted on. I actually really like the way they look. But I like the Red Rex more than anything anyways. This one just has more articulation, and you can get it to stand up without it falling over, but, you know, it really depends on the surface it's on. Sometimes over time, it'll actually fall over anyway. So I have to say, you actually have a better chance of having this one stand up rather than this one, because you may actually think you have it in the best pose possible. It may still fall over. Because of all the articulation this thing has and it does have a lot of it it is loaded with articulation and that's what makes this thing impressive is that you can have it do almost anything you want it to do uh, but in terms of posability it it really limits you so i say they're both great either way you've got something that's really valuable what I like about this one is you can turn its head to almost 
look in any direction you want it to, but it's a little limited. It only goes so far, as you can see. See, it only looks so far to the side. It doesn't have too much leeway with the head. It kind of just goes so far, and then that's it. Now, with the old one, it, you see... That you can't really do anything with it, but it's still iconic, you know, and well, it has sound effects, so right away, this is like you know, automatically makes it a little bit better. Plus, it has rubber skin, and well, this is just hard plastic. I still like this one very much. This is like the ultimate Rexy figure, I guess you could say. Uh, well, this part right here is rubber. And this part of the tail back here is rubber. It also has a wire in it, so it can also pose its tail like this one can. Um, you know, they're both good. You can do anything with the arms. You can... You can bend the wrist, you can bend the elbow, you can swivel it and rotate. You can do the same thing with the feet. You can pivot them, you can rotate them. Uh, you can bend the knees and this part of the leg, and you can extend the thigh outward. Same thing with the shoulders. You can turn the body a little bit so that I can almost fully go to the side. But like I said, it's still very limited. With this one, you can open the mouth. I mean, this one opens its mouth every time you press the trigger, and it has that roaring action. But with this one, you can actually open the mouth and it'll stay open, as you can see here. And you can also articulate this rubbery tongue. You can have it go up or down. I typically have it about right there. That makes it look pretty good. So... This one is screen accurate, that one is novel accurate, or book accurate, whatever you want to call it. They're both great in their own ways. I kind of wish it did look like it did here in the film, but like I said, that's how it looked in the book, and maybe if they reboot the franchise, they'll actually make it like the book really was, and actually have the Rex be read, and, well, we'll also get to see... Uh, uh, the smaller one, which we got in the same old toy line, only it was a different color than the big one. So I don't know if this, I can't remember if the smaller one was the same color as the big one. I think it was, but uh, oh, I can't remember. We're not even at that part yet in the book. Uh, I read it once, but I don't remember everything. I'm reading it to my fiance now. So well, there you go. New meets old. This one is a little longer than that one is. That one's just a little bit shorter. It's, I think it's about 22 inches long. This one is like two feet long, so it's maybe two, two or three inches longer. Um, this one has longer legs, you can see. There again, it is standing a lot more upright than this one. This one is more in a walking stance. But you can't really get it to stand upright unless you have it in this pose. I've tried many other different ways, and some ways I've succeeded, but overall, this is like the best pose you can put it in. Otherwise, it's just going to fall over. I don't know why. It's a, uh, The other Mattel figures are doing the same thing in a walk-in stance like this. Otherwise, they fall over. Maybe that's why they continue to do it that way. Anyways, just wanted to show you guys a comparison between the very first Rex we ever got and the latest Rex we've ever gotten so far. And I love both of them. Should we get a bull or a buck uh, from the Lost World in the Hammond Collection or Spinosaurus? I will also feature that on this channel. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And should you have any questions about these guys, let me know in the comments section below. And I will 
get back with you guys. All right. Thanks for viewing this. I hope you had fun watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions for me, just let me know in the comments section below. And uh, I'll get back with you. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.